embarking on the cutting edge of aviation, Eve Rossi graces the skies, orchestrating a spellbinding ballet alongside Alpha Jet fighters with his Jetman jetpack. An engineering visionary, Rossi's aerial feats unfold over Dubai's iconic Burj Khalifa alongside a massive Airbus, capturing each meticulous maneuver on film. This odyssey into the world of Jetman commenced in 2004, birthing a rocket pack that defies convention. With speeds reaching 186 miles per hour, the Jetman's canvas permits for a captivating 10-minute flight on a full tank of fuel. A thrilling escapade that begins with takeoff from an airplane or helicopter and concludes with a parachute-assisted landing. The innovation continues as we observe a display at a French military parade on July 14, 2019. The Flyboard Air, a flying platform, steals the spotlight, boasting speeds of 124 miles per hour, scaling heights up to 1,000 feet, and sustaining continuous flight for an impressive 30 minutes. This versatile platform excels, capable of transporting both a person and cargo weighing up to 440 pounds. However, the public demonstration slightly restrains its capabilities, limiting its speed to 87 miles per hour, height to 500 feet, and flight time to 6 minutes, carrying a payload of 220 pounds. Frankie Zapata, the ingenious mind behind Flyboard Air, personally demonstrates its prowess in Paris, even hinting at potential military applications. Now let us transition from the skies to the ground. The Scorpion emerges as a groundbreaking electric overbike from the Russian startup Oversurf. Classified as an ultralight vehicle, the Scorpion takes flight without the need for a pilot's license. Its carbon fiber frame, weighing a mere 251 pounds, encases a 12 kilowatt hybrid battery, offering a flight duration of 10 to 25 minutes. With remote control capabilities, extending unmanned flight to 40 minutes, the Scorpion 3's dimensions allow it to navigate standard doorways and take off from a regular parking space. Ascending 52 feet above the ground, it achieves a top speed of 60 miles per hour. Supporters can pre-order the Scorpion 3 with a $10,000 deposit, and the full price is set at $150,000. In the dynamic landscape of hoverboards, Alexandra Duru's Omni Hoverboard made waves in 2015, earning a coveted place with Guinness World Records by flying an impressive 905 feet at a height of 16 feet. Jetpack Aviation, an American company, introduces a new model of jetpack called JB-11. Unlike the previous version, the new jetpack can accelerate up to 200 miles per hour. The company demonstrated the prototype of the jetpack at CES 2018. Usually, jetpacks are developed by solo inventors and created in single copies. But in recent years, several companies, including Jetpack Aviation, have announced serial production. The new version has not two but six turbojet engines, significantly increasing the maximum speed of the jetpack. The maximum flight height is about 1500 feet, and the duration of the flight on one refueling is 12 minutes. Plans are already in motion for Dubai's civil defense to acquire these jetpacks for firefighting in high-rise buildings. A few years ago, the concept of the Martin jetpack seemed fantastical, but today, it may soon hit the market. At an air show held in Dubai, developers presented the first copy of this flying machine. The jetpack is capable of reaching speeds of up to 46 miles per hour. The manufacturer claims that the Martin jetpack can acquire the status of the safest aircraft in the world. It runs on conventional fuel, covering 31 miles on one refueling. In case of running out of gasoline in the air, returning to the ground is accomplished by means of an automatically triggered ballast balloon. The approximate cost of the Martin jetpack reaches $250,000, and according to company representatives, Emergency services will be the first to buy it, followed by agricultural workers and representatives of the oil and gas industries. In July 2018, Gravity Industries began selling a flying suit similar to the one Iron Man had. 
The flying suit is printed on a 3D printer and is equipped with five engines that run on both jet fuel and diesel. The device allows speeds of up to 56 miles per hour. According to the developers, the suit allows you to climb to a height of 12,000 feet, but you need to be careful when moving far from the ground, as the fuel supply is only enough for four to five minutes of flight. The fuel tank has a capacity of 15 liters, and it is claimed that in cold weather, it is possible to squeeze out more thrust and fly for about nine minutes. The product weighs about 60 pounds, achieving such an indicator due to the use of special block components assembled from pots printed by a 3D printer. Not only is Gravity Industries engaged in the creation of personal flying machines, but this company was also one of the first to start mass production of such suits. California-based startup Kitty Hawk, backed by co-founder Larry Page, unveils the Kitty Hawk Flyer, the first prototype of a personal electric flyer. This ultralight aircraft can lift one person into the air and move at speeds up to 20 miles per hour for 20 minutes at a height of 10 feet. The flight of the Kitty Hawk Flyer is supported by 10 separate engines independent of each other. Many people associate this flying machine with an enlarged version of the multicopter designed to fly above the water surface to a height of up to 32 feet. Regarding its availability, the Kitty Hawk Flyer will not be sold to individuals, but only to large transportation companies systematically addressing traffic congestion. In early June 2021, a demonstration of the world's first backpack helicopter took place, the Mandrone. Using two propellers, each about 90 centimeters in diameter, on a rigid frame alongside batteries, and two armrests with controls, the Mandrone runs on electric traction with a body made of durable and lightweight carbon fiber. After vertical takeoff, the pilot maneuvers the rotors for forward movement or turns. Large propellers assist in energy efficient takeoff and maneuvering, yet their size increases the risk of birds colliding. Due to its compact size and power unit, the helicopter cannot sustain prolonged flight. And in case of even a single engine failure, a descent is inevitable. Therefore, the flight altitude should be limited to 50 feet. As we traverse the landscape of future transportation, these remarkable innovations showcase the boundless possibilities that lie ahead. What are your thoughts on the future of jetpack aviation? Leave a comment below and don't forget to like and subscribe.